Alright, well, I hope this works. <sighs> Take three! Welcome to what is hopefully going to be the final attempt of me, Blind LP, Dust, and Elysian Tail. This is Ian, and this LP is driving me to the drink. You're going to be joining me, a nice glass of the Kraken, plus some cola. And periodic outbursts you probably won't hear from my roommate over here. Hi. Now, this, like I said, this is, uh, take three at this. Because live stream Procaster was being a douche and I've had to switch over to Fraps. Hopefully it works this time. So yes, I've seen the first few minutes of the game a couple times because of failed recording attempts and finding out that I cannot use a PlayStation 3 controller to play this game because it demands an Xbox 360 controller jammed into your computer forcefully. That happens. Hopefully this won't mangle my uh, recording uh, frame rate rather that much. I really hope nobody heard that. Anyway, really hope the frame rate doesn't die on this. And one way to find out, and that's to start the game. Luckily, I have not hit a point where the game actually saves yet, so I don't have to worry about deleting old saves. I have heard very little about this game, aside from the fact that it's animated beautifully, and the voice acting, some people don't like it, and that this difficulty down in the bottom here is balls out hard. So we're going to ignore it and do normal, because I'm a wimp. I'm also going to try not to talk during much Our of the cutscenes. world has fallen to fade. And I failed. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this... Our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob, yay, interactive opening no cutscene, and the soldier showed no mercy. But despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness. The valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. Every time I hear that line, which is three now, it's reminded me of Blazing Saddles. Dust. Dust. Arise. Arise from your graves. What? A giant sword is flying at me. Fuck! What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. Yoink. <laughs> it's a... It's, Stop! It's a fluffy thing. Stop right there! And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget, guardian of the sword. Guardian of... Uh... Flapping. Guardian of fanning me. Just keep fanning me. It's a million degrees outside. This feels nice. Aside from that, you don't look like a guardian no offense, to me. But aren't you a bit... Well... Small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. Mm, yeah, that happens sometimes. Speaking of not paying attention, I'm going to try and remember to move the mouse cursor away during cutscenes. I give you no guarantees. So, what is this sword? Is it a fork? The blade of Ara. Is it a and comb? Dust are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think 
think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword. Clan with a K. Right now, it's the only thing that I knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I, I challenge you. The winner gets the sword. You, you challenge me. To... What? I want to know first. Well, I... All right, all right, you win. I win! I don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. Oh. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing, you know, whatever it is Swear you're doing. to God if you go all nappy on me. What am I doing, Hara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside. And from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. Yep, this game is animated gorgeously. These graphics are just fantastic. The running animation actually looks pretty casual. The turnaround is really quick. Wee! And you could jump like a hundred thousand miles in the air. Welcome to this place. The Glade, according to Dust the Dust and Elysian Tale. Boing. Boing. Nice snappy controls. That's always a good thing I like to feel in a game. Oop, a wall. And a chicken. Eh, give me that. A mysterious wall chicken. I wonder what that's seasoned with. Hmm. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense. And there's something just ahead. The sixth sense to say a picture of a treasure chest with some question marks, but not to know about a sword that flies around, and me. And a glowy thing! Cool visual effects are on it. <laughs> it blew up! And I can fly around now. Whee! Do I get more wall meat? I get more wall meat! Mmm, it's so good inside me. Correction. We found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key, then. I got a treasure. It's a note about treasure. I got right, rabbits. Rabbits, rabbits. Did that rabbit just duck my shit? It, that rabbit totally ducked my shit. Jump, boing. That's a Mega Man tradition right there. Jump through every doorway. Eh, deer. Come back. Bambi, no! Oh, Bambi's about to get his shit wrecked. Pop quiz. What was Bambi's mom's name? That wasn't it. Calm yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. No, no! Mash the buttons! Do something! Mash buttons? Mash buttons is my middle name. Wow. <sighs> Nobody said anything about monsters. Strange. Where did I learn these skills? You wield the blade of Ara. And with it, all the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello? Monsters? They're gone. Isn't that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. 
amnesia plot line. Right? No more monsters. Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them. Feeble fruits. Why are they so feeble? All right. And on that note, we're going to call the first episode of this game right there and hopefully find out uh, why we have to go through an amnesia plotline here. Next time on Dust and Elysian Tale.